Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's uh, June 29th, Friday morning, last day of the month, and the USDA uh, reports just uh, came out here. The acreage numbers, corn acres, 96.405. Uh, trade was expecting 95.96 compared to a, an estimate that uh, USDA put out in March of 95.86. So uh, a lot of corn acres planted. Soybean acres, 76.08 acres uh, planted, a million acres planted there compared to a trade estimate of 75.575. The uh, quarterly stocks number, a little friendly on corn, uh, 31, uh, 3 billion, 149 million. That was compared to 3.182. Uh, soybean ending stocks greater than expected, 67, 667 versus 640 was the estimate there. And the wheat ending stocks, 70. 743 versus a uh, trade estimate of 726. So after the report, market opened a uh, quiet fashion, sold off on the uh, negative news, and since that time we've seen uh, a tremendous amount of buying come in. Just uh, kind of as we were uh, talking to customers yesterday about the situation, that uh, the weather was going to trump the, uh, uh, the USDA report. Uh, the, and that appears like what's happening here this morning. We've got uh, uh, prices uh, going higher here, basically on weather forecasts, uh, 20, 10, 20, 30% chance of rain, certain areas throughout the Midwest here, the upper Midwest for the uh, next few days. But after that, temperatures remain high and uh, no rain in the forecast, at least uh, at this time. Uh, they're putting in a little more rain out in the two-week period, but as uh, producers were telling us yesterday, uh, it's kind of like, so what at that point, because uh, the crops are going to be damaged so severely that uh, yields are going to uh, uh, be reduced. So uh, weather, still a very positive factor to the market as we go into a, a holiday week next week. Uh, some uh, trading will be... Uh, 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 traders will be taking off, and uh, we get uh, continued volatility as we watch the weather. Uh, other news in the marketplace came out of Europe uh, yesterday or at midnight here uh, when the EU leaders uh, agreed on a not necessarily a bailout, but uh, that they would uh, supply uh, funding for the banks under a, a new supervisory uh, uh, capacity here that uh, they're uh, putting in place uh, and it should uh, support the uh, euro currency and and it reduces the fear that uh, the euro is going to uh, collapse and that we're seeing uh, support markets this morning as well where uh, the dollar is down sharply crude oil is up sharply here this morning so uh, those are certainly giving some uh, uh, some underlying support, some uh, tailwind in this uh, in this run uh, higher here this morning as well. Uh, we did get some news out of China, however, uh, not especially friendly. It shows that China's economy is slowing. Uh, Japan reduced their PMI numbers or released their PMI numbers and uh, showed that they're uh, slowing down on their uh, manufacturing as well. So uh, some not so good numbers there. Also. Uh, uh, Valero is uh, closing their plant in Fort Dodge, Iowa for a period of time. They're saying that has been a planned overhaul there, so uh, shouldn't get too excited about the uh, the concern there because that uh, they were planning that uh, closure. But it's just another uh, reduction in ethanol production and uh, demand for corn. So we're seeing high prices, uh, reduced demand, but... We're concerned about uh, the supply side of the equation right now, and the, the trade is focusing on that, especially going into a period here where uh, much of the uh, U.S. corn crop is going to be tasseling. And uh, with no rain, high temperatures, uh, it's certainly not an ideal situation. Uh, the livestock trade, we've got uh, a hogs and pigs report uh, this afternoon. Uh, trade's looking for an increase in all categories there, uh, about 101% uh, all hogs, 100.7% uh, kept for breeding, and 101.3% uh, market hogs available. So uh, 
we'll see how those numbers come out as they, the profitability of pork production has gone uh, into the red here over the, since this uh, data was collected. But uh, uh, the outside markets, I think, will uh, provide some support for the uh, pork and uh, cattle markets in futures. Uh, we still are waiting for some cash cattle trade. Uh, there's a standoff there. Bids in, are in that 112 to 113 range, while the offers are at 118. So uh, quite a difference there, and, and expect a steady to uh, maybe higher price there if we can uh, see some strength in the futures market uh, today. So uh, definitely a lot of volatility, a lot of things that will have to be uh, uh, worked out and gone through here till uh, traders feel confident with uh, the adjustments. But uh, stay in touch with Allendale's research and, and Allendale's uh, uh, brokers. So if you got any uh, questions, give us a call here at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you on Monday morning. Thank you.